Are you thinking of moving to Austin, Texas and you want to know the pros and cons? I'm going to share that information with you right now. Hi, this is Christy Bryan with the Best of Austin Living Team at Keller Williams Realty. I'm going to share with you my top five reasons for love in Austin and my top five reasons for not like in Austin so much. So let's start with the cons first. Austin is hot. Uh, we have summer all year long and a couple of months of winter, or maybe you call it fall, when a cold front is blowing through. Um, in general, the weather here is tolerable, but for a few months in the summer, really more like three, four, or five months, it is hot. And thankfully, it's not as humid as on the Gulf Coast, like in Houston, but Austin can get pretty darn hot. Um, the median home price, it has gone up over the years. It is now in the mid 300s. So um, compared to some places, it is still very reasonable. However, compared to what Austin was just 10, 15 years ago, um, it, it sure means equity is building. At the same time, it makes it tough for some folks to buy a home in Austin. Along that same line, another con is that the rents are fairly high in Austin. If you can afford to rent something in Austin, most likely you can afford to go ahead and start a mortgage and um, start the payment to where you're building equity because the rents most often are similar to what you'd pay for a mortgage. You'll hear everybody in Austin complain about the traffic. Yes, we have traffic in Austin. The infrastructure has not caught up with the pace of the population growth in Austin. Um, I hear that the traffic is not as bad as on the East Coast or West Coast. Austin has a driving culture, so if you move here, you will need a car. There is some light rail in Austin and there's more to come in the future. However, right now, most likely you do need to have a car to get around with ease. There are a lot of folks who bike. I have clients who bike to work. Um, so it is possible and it's just not as easy as some major cities and it's getting easier by the day. Let's talk about the things I love about Austin. I have lived all over the world and in Texas. I, I was born in West Texas. I moved to Austin for school, UT Austin, and um, love living in Austin. Somehow we found ourselves in Houston. Shout out to all my Houston peeps. Love Houston as well. However, I always missed Austin. So I'm really, really happy to be back in Austin. I love the hills. I love the um, water. I love all the trees. Side note, I really don't like all the allergies that come along with a lot of our native plants like cedar. Um, however, I, I really, I love Austin. Um, I love to go hiking on the hike and bike trails. I have a goal of going all to, the, to all the trailheads. I haven't made that happen yet, but that is a goal. I love going kayaking. I have a goal of going paddle boarding. I haven't gone paddle boarding yet. Uh, SUPS, stand up paddle boarding, huge culture of being on the water here in Austin. We have Lady Bird Johnson Lake. And if you have ever been to Austin in the past, it was Town Lake. It was renamed to Lady Bird Johnson Lake. Yes, it is the Colorado River that's flowing through, but it's dammed on both sides. So Lady Bird Johnson Lake, there are no motorized boats allowed on it um, down by the city. So you see lots of people kayaking, paddle boarding, and lots of activities happening on the water, just not boats right by downtown. When I was at UT, I loved walking around Lady Bird Johnson Lake. Um, I do kayaking more down there now than I do walking, but it's always fun to meet up with a friend. It's so easy if you have a meeting somewhere in town just to stop by Lady Bird Johnson Lake and take a walk with a friend, throw on your tennis shoes. It is a fabulous place to be. If you like food, you're gonna like Austin. We have some great, great restaurants. We also have a huge food truck culture here in Austin with all different kinds of food. And um, personally, my family is gluten-free and there are so many places to eat gluten-free in Austin. I'll do another video on that at another time. Lots of great gluten-free dining in Austin. We take our barbecue really seriously. Awesome places for barbecue. We take our tacos really seriously. You can get 101 different tacos in Austin and they're all fabulous and different. And then coffee. We have some of the best coffee houses anywhere. We have a lot of awesome bars as well. I'm sure by now you've heard that Austin is the live music capital of the world. We have so many awesome places to go for live music. Lots of fun places to go out and enjoy the um, nightlife culture in Austin. The people in Austin are amazing. Love the people. Texas is a really friendly place. Um, in particular, Austin is more liberal than most of the other places in Texas. So you're going to find also being a college town, the people are relaxed, um, very casual and dressed. 
casual attitude, but very friendly. And when I say casual attitude, not indifference, um, very loving, supportive people. And then finally, Austin is an easy place to travel from. The state of Texas is huge. You can go so many different places and it's really a central point. So wherever you're wanting to travel from in Texas, and generally it's about two to three hours from Austin. So Austin is just a fabulous place to live. Yes, there's cons like any other city. And at the same time, so many reasons why people are moving to Austin. If you come, check it out. I'm sure that you're gonna love it. Let us know what you love about Austin. If there's anything that you wanna know more about, just let us know. And we look forward to seeing you on another video soon.